Today we talk about something a little more serious. Make-A-Wish Foundations. So, welcome back to Weekday 1-Up. Did you start the timer? Of course you did. So, hey. today, uh, something I wanted to talk about. Um, um, really quick, before you get into it, we always, all week, I do just want to make sure I'm telling you guys to leave us uh, suggestions for future episodes. I feel like we should do it at the end so it's fresh in their mind. Okay, we'll do it at the end, too. Oh. If you have one now, go ahead and leave it, and at the end, you'll get another shot. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so today, I said we're going to talk about something more serious. It is a little bit, but not too bad. So, we're talking about um, Make-A-Wish Foundations, but more specifically, the best three nerdy Make-A-Wish Foundations, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts on them that I can think of. These are in no particular order, except for the last one I'm going to talk about. It's the best one. Yeah. Um... Okay, so the uh, we'll just jump right into it. The first let's one, make a wish foundation for anyone who make might a wish not foundation know. is um, I don't know the exact thing, but it's for ch <laughs> children that are dying, terminally or ill, terminally ill, or That's are very very sick. Um, they get a wish; they can do whatever they want, and I don't know the pricing, the how they do it's money, usually eight thousand dollars, anything they want between for like uh, that's reasonable. Like they can't fly. Oh, yeah. Well, I know they collect money. Like, they're usually their cap for one wish is $8,000 because the kid, they want to do, if they're doing, because a lot of kids, like, want to go to Disneyland or something right, like yeah, that. Yeah. So they have to pay for their whole family to go. Oh, yeah. So it's usually, I think, really I've right. I've donated before, and the cap is usually at like $8,000 a wish. Oh, really? I didn't know you knew anything about that. Wow. Yeah, that's why I'm just I'm glad, glad I got you here, man. Out. But go ahead. Um, so let me talk about the three, my three that I've heard of nerdy Make-A-Wish Foundations that I think are perfect. Now, one most people know about, but I still think it's great, is Ron Perlman, if you don't know, uh, actor, Sons of Anarchy, and uh, Pacific Rim, and, but most famously, he's Hellboy. And Cody thinks he looks fake, he looks amazing. Um, Not the guy. Um, the hey, yeah, see, Drew knows what I'm talking about. It's the shit, I think right? he looks fake. It's the shit, right? I love Hellboy. Doesn't it look fake? But it's Hellboy. See, you agree it looks fake, though. I mean, he looks a little plastic, but it's That's Hellboy. That's all I'm looking for. Okay, I'm hold on. A, it's, anyway, I like it. I think it's better than I think it looks better than what it would in CG. So, um, Cody's CG whore. Uh, besides the point, <laughs> he put on... This kid for the Make-A-Wish Foundation loved Hellboy. Like He was like, ah, oh, that's my favorite movie. They got a hold of Ron Perlman, gave him X amount of money, and said, hey, will you come hang out with this kid as Hellboy for the whole day? Well, now, now rather than just be like, well, I'm busy and can't, maybe I'll just call him and talk to him as Hellboy, do the voice. No, he put on full makeup, which is like a six to eight hour process, something crazy. Man. Full full prosthetic glove so, he's, so he could move his hand. Now I'm kind of happy it's not CG. And, right? Because how he couldn't have done it then. Yeah. So put on the horns and everything and went and just hung out with this kid as Hellboy all day. Trench coat and everything. Hung out with this kid for the whole day. The kid dressed up as Hellboy too, and they got to go and just hang out. And like, there's pictures of Ron just sitting there talking to him, just like a person, you know. He's like, "How you doing, kid?" Because that's Hellboy. Um, and I just think it's great. What do you guys think about this? I think that's awesome. I think it's really cool. Um, I would love to meet some people. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> if I was terminally ill, I would love to meet. I mean, him. I, mean I think you'd love to meet him anyway. But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, this little kid. You know, think about that. Just, How old are we talking? I think he was. Uh, they talked about it on a podcast I listened to. I think he was like five or six, maybe seven. Anywhere from five to ten. I know that he was young. Hmm. Um, good. Wish. That's really cool. That was I mean, wish. that's awesome of that dude to do. Mm -hmm. Um. Then. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is we, me and Cody listen to this podcast called Podcast Beyond. Beyond! Beyond! Um, Beyond. <laughs> yeah. So the guys from Podcast Beyond, it's, if you don't know, it's an entirely PlayStation podcast. They, all, they talk about PlayStation, PlayStation news, games, whatever. And there's this kid in Canada, um, made Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, he, uh, his Make-A-Wish is he wanted to hang out with the Podcast Beyond crew. Um, and well, they made it act like they weren't gonna be able to make it because they just they were at PSX. I know about all this one. This one was very recent. Mm -hmm. Um, made it like he was gonna. He has. I don't think he's terminal. I think he just has muscular dystrophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really bad. But he um train of thought. Oh, so they made it act like he was 
they were not going to show up because they were busy, but they were just going to call. But at the beginning of the podcast, Greg Miller, the host, goes, okay, we're right outside his room, and we're going to surprise him. And then they're on the phone with him, and the phone's ringing and ringing and ringing, and they're like, ah, oh, they may not pick up. Maybe they're busy. Maybe they're in a bad reception. And then they bust down the door, and then Greg <laughs> comes in. And he's like, yeah, the reception's really bad out here, man. Or was it Colin that said that? I don't know. But and then you know the whole thing they're just having a whole did a whole episode in this kid's room living room or whatever with this guy with this kid you know uh, I say kid he's eighteen years yeah. old but yeah it was just really really cool that someone w- that they would take the time to do that and then after the podcast they played games with him all day the guy was like he was so excited to be with them he was just yeah. like if I could just hang out with you guys yeah, yeah. forever like, it was the great best thing ever uh huh what do you think about this Drew no um, I know you don't know a ton about I know you're not big into the podcast scene but. No, but I think Even though that's, you have your own podcast now. I think that's cool. I don't I don't really I didn't see it. You said this was recently? Yeah, yeah. this was like three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. It was really cool of them. Like and especially right after PlayStation X mm-hmm. where like they were busy and they were out anyway. They like, made the time for it. And pl- we're, PlayStation X it's not like they w- they went out of their way to do it too. They were in Las that Vegas. Was in Vegas, yeah. And then they went to where was it? It was uh, Alberta, something like that. They went yeah. somewhere in Canada. And then back to San Francisco where they live. So there was like a big triangle. Off of this one dude. Uh-huh. It's and awesome. side note, this one I don't want to touch on too much. This is, I don't know if it was make a wish or not, but Johnny Depp one time, his girl sent him a letter and wanted him to crash the school in Jack Sparrow. So he put on all the Jack Sparrow makeup and just went and crashed the school. Wow. Walked into the school and was just like, I don't know. So what's your final... Make a wish. I actually know about this one, mm-hmm. and I think it's freaking awesome. As far as I know, everything about this is true. I've never heard anyone saying that this ended up being a hoax. So, so if it is a hoax, I'm sorry, but I, I, as far as we know, this is very much true. This one is amazing, and I actually was telling Drew about it earlier, and oh, I was getting chills talking show. about it. So, Oda. Oda! In Japan, right one let, let, me, let me start over. In Japan, the Japanese Make a Wish Foundation, there was a kid terminally ill, had cancer, knew he was gonna die, and so they said, "What do you want? What's the one thing you want?" And he asked for something so simple that it just melts your heart. He said, "My favorite manga is One Piece, and I know it's not ending anytime soon. No, I just want to know how it's gonna end." They called up Oda, and Oda was like. Like, can you tell this kid how it's going to end? He packed up everything and went immediately. Maybe not immediately. Maybe the next day. Well, yeah, let's not. We don't know those details. <laughs> but he went. He went and sat down. I'm pretty sure they probably had to have the room closed off. Just oh, I'm sure it was just him and this kid. And he just told this kid everything about One Piece that there is to know. What? Who, maybe new characters. Maybe, you know, when's he get the One Piece? Told him how it's going to end. And after all is said and done... They asked the kid, how was it? And his answer was, it was more beautiful than you could ever imagine. And I just think that that, just for Oda, someone as busy as he is writing the world's number one manga all the time, as busy as he is, just drop what he's doing and just go and hang out with this kid. Like, you gotta think about this for a second, guys. This is Japan's number one manga by a landslide. And it's not gonna end for a long time. To give away his ending mm-hmm. to somebody is a huge deal, mm-hmm. and he did that. From everything we've heard, he did that, which is awesome. And it's just it's fa- it just, it's all inspiring to me. Yeah, um, and it makes me more excited about the end of One Piece. Oh, side note, <laughs> I said would for, for Oda's case for Oda. Don't get me wrong, wouldn't that just be a just a slap in the face if they're like this kid's gonna live? No, and the kid's <laughs> just like. Just like I shall burn one piece he's, to the ground. He's gonna go on t- Tumblr, the Japanese Tumblr, and be like, "This happens." No one will believe him. They'll be like, "Shut up, kid." And then it happens, and they're <laughs> it's like, like uh, he when, predicted the future. When Black Flag uh, got leaked, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Black Flag this is just a little random, but apparently it was a dude on an airplane telling a kid about it because the kid was like on the airplane looking at Assassin's Creed stuff, and one of the developers was like, "Oh yeah, you like that? Check out this. This is what I've been working on." And showed him all of it, and apparently the kid went on Tumblr, told everything about it, and no one effing believed him. Because they were like, yeah, they're not going to make freaking pirates and Assassin's Creed. That's ridiculous. Shut up, kid. Shout out to the poster over there in Cody's room. Uh, now they know that where our studio is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we just wanted to put a little positivity into the world by talking about the Make-A-Wish stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
Like I said, please leave suggestions in the comments for future episodes, and it'll probably happen. Also, we are now taking questions for the end of the episodes. We're going to have a segment every episode where we answer your question, and we did one yesterday. And we're not going to do one for the rest of the week, but starting next week, hopefully we've got enough questions that we can answer your questions. So leave them. Let us know what you want to hear Check about. Check the description below for our uh, Instagram names. And other stuff. There's links to the Facebook for this. Mm -hmm. Like, There's tons of stuff in the description below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. You want to tell them something? About uh, some mm -hmm. hashtags or something? Was it? Uh, oh, hashtag one up. I thought you were talking about Drew. <laughs> and stay nerdy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch yesterday's video, click right here in the center of the screen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And read the description to find our other channels, plus our Twitch, and more. Nice, bro. You should keep that in.